um, I, I don't feel like I've completely jumped off the dock yet because I. Well, you're not working the nine to five. I'm not working the nine to five. You're responsible. That's for, true. Yes. You've been off of it for a long time. I feel like I could dive deeper into it, but I have okay. called myself back because I am a really aware person. I'm not a dummy. Yeah. I think a lot about the moves that I'm going to make, especially when it comes to business, because why? I have a whole family that depends on yeah. me and relies on me. So I can't, if I make a bad decision, that's going to affect the whole family. Yes, that's so I have to be really careful with the decisions that I make, especially when they are in business, because it, you go and you invest too much in something and it doesn't yeah. work out, you know, you, you might not recover from that. Yeah. You might not recover from that. So it has been a slow process for me, but I will say the working, those 10 years of working, um, full time and doing the cakes and stuff, they were really tough. So I'm glad that I got to this point where I'm able to now kind of relax a little more, invest more time in the things that I'm interested in doing, like this podcast and other things that we do, you know, and so it's been great spending more time with the family. That's also great. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna reel it back in. Reel it back in. We're gonna go to the beginning a little bit of Soul and Cake. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell? Do you remember the first cake that you made? I do. I was. I, I, I was just saying that that first, very first cake was for a wedding, mm -hmm. and um, I had absolutely no experience stacking cakes, making tiered cake. I did. I had never done. So, your it. first customer was for a wedding. It was for a wedding anniversary. Oh, wedding anniversary. anniversary. Okay. They were not, I wouldn't say customer. Because they didn't pay? They didn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, yeah. 